Hi, it's Marissa from BumblebeeApothecary.com. Today I'd like to show you how to make a perfect GAPS approved version of kimchi. Whether you're on the GAPS diet or not, it's really, really helpful to eat a variety of different fermented foods. And this is a really great one to eat with really any type of dish, but especially Asian inspired dishes. You can think of kimchi as the Asian version of sauerkraut. A lot of different countries around the world have their own version. So this would be the Korean version. Like all other homemade fermented foods, it's a great source of beneficial probiotic bacteria for your gut. So let's jump right into the recipe and I'm gonna show you how to make this. The recipe that I'm going to be showing you today comes from Becky Plotner's book, Gaps Stage by Stage with Recipes. If you're following the GAPS diet or thinking about the GAPS diet, I highly recommend this book. I've talked about it before on my channel. It's full of amazing information and so many great recipes. There will be a link in the description box below if you wanna grab this book. I'm going to start by chopping all of my vegetables. I'm gonna begin with one head of Napa cabbage. It's preferable if you can get all of your ingredients organic. First, I'm just gonna remove any of the outer leaves that maybe don't look the greatest. And then I'm just gonna coarsely chop this. Next, I'm going to add two large daikon radishes. I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it or not. They're these guys. I'm gonna peel them and then coarsely chop them. Next, I'm going to add 10 chopped green onions. Next, I'm going to add five sliced carrots. Next, I'm going to add three tablespoons of freshly shredded ginger root. What I like to do is eyeball what I think is gonna be about three tablespoons on whatever piece of fresh ginger I have, and then peel that and shred it. Next, I'm going to add five garlic cloves, finely chopped. And the knife that I'm using today is this really snazzy, super sharp knife from a company called NBX that they sent to me. Okay, and then next I'm going to add three teaspoons of dried chili flakes. Now you have a little bit of uh, uh, flexibility with this part depending on how spicy you like your food. So you can definitely use less if you're not as much of a fan of spiciness or if you have little kids who are gonna be eating this. Since I do have little kids, I think I'm going to do only one teaspoon. Next, we're going to add half a cup of fish sauce. It's really important to get a good clean brand that only has anchovies and salt as the only ingredients. You don't want sugar and other different ingredients at all. This is a good brand, this Red Boat fish sauce, and I'll link it below so you can find it. And then last of all, we're going to add two tablespoons of high quality mineral salt. Some of my favorites are Celtic sea salt or Baja gold. Baja gold is what I'm using today. Once all the ingredients are here, we're just going to mix this. I have a really full bowl, so I'm gonna to have to mix very carefully. You know what, I'm grabbing a second bowl. It smells really good. Okay, and then next, we're going to just add this to our jar. Okay, and then next we're going to fill the jar up to the shoulder. The shoulder is this part of the jar where it starts to curve at the t towards the top. So we're gonna fill to the shoulder. And then it's really important that everything stays submerged. So I'm going to add a glass fermentation weight to make sure everything stays down. And then we're going to put a lid on this and then put this on the counter to ferment for 12 days. After that, we're gonna move it to the refrigerator and then it's ready to enjoy. Okay, I hope that you enjoyed seeing how to make kimchi 
in a really healthy GAPS approved version. I have lots of other fermentation videos. I'll link some of those below as well as a playlist. I'll link some of those below so you can check them out. Be sure and leave me a comment below and let me know what is your favorite fermented food to eat. I'll have links below in the description box to where you can find these different ingredients, like the mineral salt and a good version of fish sauce to use. I'll also have a link to one of my favorite places to buy organic groceries and produce and pantry staple items. Down below there will also be a link to a printable recipe card if you want to grab that. Also check out that description box for a free GAPS diet getting started guide as well as some other free goodies. Okay, if you like this video and you like seeing how to make your own kimchi, give it a thumbs up, share it with anybody else you think would like to see this. Here on my channel, I show you how to make nourishing recipes for nutrient dense food, natural remedies and DIY skincare and home products. So if those are something that you're interested in and you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. I get out two videos every week. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.